BDD is a common good practice in software development and it is also at the core of Colin Sider's values. Well, the acronym BDD stands for Behavior Driven Development and defines a software development principle that is commended by a specification. With BDD, you write a specification in a special language called Gherkin, and after that, you implement your feature. Each piece of the spec is described by real life use cases called scenarios. At the end, you implement your tests using that same spec language. By doing that, you link every piece of your software with your specification. This makes your software more focused on the feature while having a spec that is written in a language that both the product owner and the developer can understand. Now that we defined what was BDD, we're going to implement it. We'll develop an API that is basically a calories counter. There will be only one endpoint on that app, post food. This endpoint will allow the app to know what food the user eats. There will be only three available foods. A burger that represents 550 calories, a Caesar salad that is 180 calories, and pancakes that represent 520 calories. Every time the user eats something, the calories count will rise. We won't connect our app to a database and instead we will implement a repository that will store in-memory user information. That's because today's video focuses on BDD, not DB. Got it? <laughs> also, our behavior-driven tests will test that the calories calculations are correct. Here are the scenarios. This is the title of the scenario. It is a sentence that represents the purpose of the test. Here, users should have their calories calculated properly when they didn't eat already before eating. This is the given step. It represents the context of the test. This is usually where you set up your test. Here, given the fact I didn't eat already. The when step represents the action. This is where you execute the code under test. Here, when I eat pancakes. The then step represents the assertion. This is where you check any value or method call that you want. Here, then I should have eaten 520 calories. All right, time for implementing. We'll start using BDD5 as a test framework as it is the most easy way to start learning with BDD with .NET. You ready? Let's go. Let's create a new project. It will be a web API written with ASP.NET Core and .NET 5. Let's name this project Food Consumption. While the solution is restoring, let's take a look at the project folder tree. Let's try the skeleton of our tests. So, we create a new project named Food Consumption Tests, with .NET 5 and XUnit as a test framework. Once the project is created, we'll add the BDD file library while managing the NuGet packages. Once we found BDD file inside of the search box, we'll just add it to the project. Let's name the test steps according to the scenario. Scenario. Given. When. Then. Let's configure the severity for this warning, because it is useless in our case. We will create a class for the second scenario, again according to our Gherkin spec. This scenario represents the test case when the user ate already before eating again.
In order to make the test execute, we'll use this.bdd file. By doing that, bdd file will by itself understand the order of the method calls and execute the test. Let's now create the most simple controller in order to make a real API. We will call it food consumption controller. Because this only endpoint is very simple, we'll make it return void. Let's create a folder that will contain the input model. This model will be called eating action. It will have two properties, the ID of the user that eats the food and the food to be eaten. The available food will be contained in an enum with pancakes, Caesar salad and a burger. We'll now put that new model as a controller parameter. And then we'll create the repository that will store the user's food consumption history. Let's create the interface first. That interface will have two pure methods, get calories, that will return the number of calories for a given user, and the eat method that will store the food to the user's stomach. Let's now write the implementation of that repository. Let's store the food in a concurrent bag, which is the most appropriate collection to represent the stomach, isn't it? That's why the action of eating will be in fact adding an item to the concurrent bag. Now, back to the implementation. With a single link query, we will get all the food eaten by a user. The calories will be counted inside of a for each. As we will loop at every eaten food item, we will create a method that gives us the number of calories of a given food. After getting its return value, we will add it to the calories total and finally return the total. Let's edit the food controller in order to use the repository inside of it. Next step is inside of the startup class. We will add the repository as a singleton to the dependency injection system. Let's now launch the app and test our endpoint in the generated swagger. Success! The last step is to implement the BDD tests. In the constructor, we will initialize our repository. But in order to do that, we need to add a reference to our main project. If there isn't supposed to have eaten in that scenario, the given step will do nothing. In order to craft a clean code, let's quickly create a convenience constructor for the eating action class. One step will make the user consume a pancake. And the then step will assert that the calories count is equal to 520. Let's run this test. It is green. Let's do the same with the second test. This time, the given step will assume that the user has eaten. So we need to add food to the repository.
and everything is green. That's it. You see, it was very easy to implement BDD with BDD5. But bear in mind that in production, I would recommend using Specfo because it is more parameterizable than BDD5. That's a wrap for today. If you'd like more details on what was presented, don't forget to check the links in the description box below. Also, more content is coming soon, so don't forget to subscribe to God Insider. Have a good day. Goodbye.